Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, we have an awesome unboxing uh, today. I have the slightest clue what's inside the box because my my nine to five IT manager uh, kind of surprised me. I was complaining about one of my hypervisors. Uh, I had a Power Edge twenty nine fifty. Uh, yes, a twenty nine fifty, super old uh, processors. Old. I have a couple uh, virtual machines in there that are very important. Uh, one one virtual machine is actually the vCenter and I just wanted a new machine and my boss he surprised me and I don't know what's inside the box at all I don't know what the specifications I don't know uh, if he got me a dual core processor the memory I don't know the size I don't know how much hard drive space I do know that I'm definitely gonna get this server up and running as fast as possible because that 2850 is just complete garbage and it's one of those things that it's not in warranty, so I gotta start migrating those three virtual machines over to this new machine. So, uh, I'm gonna do the unboxing for you guys, power it on, see what's the deal. Uh, so let's get started. All right, so what comes inside the box? Oh, I'm super excited. Ah, oh, he got me the Dell EMC Power Edge R540. Ah, oh, this is so awesome. Looks like three hard drives, uh, bay zero, one, and three. Kind of disappointed because my IT manager knows me already. I like to have all the bays filled up. I don't know what type of hard drives they are. Might be SATA. Don't know the size, but uh, it looks like it's a 480 SATA. I'm gonna leave those alone for now. Inside the box, you get the, the rail kit. Extremely important. Uh, not all servers provide the rail kit. They do, but it doesn't come packaged. You might have to purchase it separately. I know with Dell's, when you're checking off what you need, like the type of processor, the memory, hard drive, the RAID controller, all that other stuff, this is an additional uh, cost, so I'm happy that we have this. Put this to the side. And inside the rail kit box, uh, we have Velcro, you know, cable management. It's always a good thing. You have your rack installation instructions. Cool. Put that to the side. Uh, we have our nice little Dell EMC uh, grill, and you have your key. For those individuals that are server admins, do you lock your servers? You know, I would like to know at the bottom of the comment section. Let me know, do you, do you not, or use, do you actually use this? I like using it, and I like locking them for some reason. Even though your LAN room is locked anyway with a card key, or you have like a, a, a digital pin or fingerprint scanner, or whatever you're using to lock up your LAN room. Uh, but, you know, to me, I like using them. Uh, automatically, I see two power cables. That tells me that we have two power supplies. Ah, oh, it's always a good thing when you're purchasing servers is to get two power supplies. It's all about redundancy. You know, if a power supply goes down, the second one is uh, going to keep the server up and running uh, until you are able to shut down the server safely and then do whatever you need to do or. If it's one of those production servers, like a, a database, like a SQL database or IIS server, it, it could continue running with one power supply, but don't, don't be cheap. You know, replace the power supply that went bad so you can have two of them. You never know. Uh, if one goes bad, the one that's keeping your server up and running, there's a 50-50 chance that it could corrupt or go bad and then you're just completely, you know, down. We have two heavy gauge power cables. Definitely gonna put that to the side. We have our Dell EMC Power Edge R540 getting started guide. We have uh, setting up your Dell EMC Power Edge server using the Dell EMC Lifecycle Controller, Enterprise Dell Warranty product, and all that good stuff. Uh, safety environment too, and uh, information, and uh, in Spanish. I think that's like the Dell warranty stuff in Spanish. And then we have the beautiful uh, R540. Man, this is awesome. This is beautiful. 
So in the back, we have two uh, 750 watt power supplies. Nice rectangle. The 80 plus platinum power supplies. Cool. Oh man, input is 100 to 240 watts, which is 50 to 60 hertz. And then you have a 12.2 volt and uh, for output. Man, this is awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Slap this guy back in here. Beautiful. Uh, it looks like we have four nicks at the back. We have an eye. Oh, he got me the eye drake. It has an eye drake port. Ah, that's awesome. We have a VGA. It looks like we have two 3.1 USB ports in the back. Uh, we have two gigabit ethernets. All right, so in total, we have six gigabit uh, ethernet ports. It looks like we have a uh, like a gigabit. It looks like we have a network card, and then we have two additional uh, ethernet ports that are integrated to the motherboard. So a total of six in total. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so in the front, looks like this is your VGA. We have additional... Uh, either 3.1 or 2.1. I'm not too sure. This looks like this is the management port here. Cool. Let me take the sticker out of there. Get out of here. We don't want you. Get out. We don't want this guy either. Uh, don't you love that? <sighs> love that sound. This looks like an information button. Most likely this is going to light up. I'm going to power this guy on. I'm definitely going to put the both power supplies, get a monitor, VGA, keyboard, mouse, set it up so we can power it on, fill the power. I, I typically don't like having the servers with an operating system. So most likely this machine does not have an operating system because I'm gonna wipe it clean. Uh, I'm gonna see if I could, you know, persuade my boss to get more hard drives, depending on what we got. I'm gonna eject them. I'm gonna eject the first bay to see what we got. <gasps> what? Yes! Oh, snap! Yes, Intel solid state drives. We got the DCS4500 series, and it is 480 gigs with a six gigabit per second uh, speed. Oh, that is awesome. We have three of these. We need more of them. We need more. The game plan is uh, I'm definitely going to do a raid. Slap this guy back in here. Slap it in there. Awesome. Cool. I would like to get all, it has two, four, six, eight, eight bays. I would like to get all of them, 480 gigs, solid state drives, uh, so I could do a raid. Once I do the raid, that will be my raw storage uh, compartment. And then I'm going to get a flash drive, maybe a, I don't know, 16 gigs, 64 gigs uh, flash drive. Install VMware uh, ESXi 6.7. I think they're already up to update two or, up, or update one. I don't know which one. I got to look that up. Install the operating system on that flash drive. Boot inside that flash drive so we can get inside the VMware environment. Use this guy as our storage and start building our virtual machines. I'm not going to build any virtual machines. My game plan is to migrate uh, the three virtual machines that I have on this crappy Power Edge 2950. I don't want to say it's crappy because it's been up and running and it's it's been performing pretty well. I just want to migrate those three virtual machines to a better uh, warranted server. So I'm excited about this. And uh, see if this oh, this guy's it's locked. Let's see if we can get our get our little toolkit right here. We're gonna open it up real quick and we're gonna take a closer look inside of it. See how much memory I got. I'm excited about the solid state drives. That's a huge plus. But uh, let's take a look inside. It'd be so awesome if we have two CPU processors. Memory, ah, oh, I'm hoping maybe 64 gigs of memory. That'd be pretty freaking awesome. All right, so let's open this guy up and take a closer look. All right, so uh, taking a you know, like a deep look, like I'm like all in it, like face in it, because the smell of a new server feels so awesome. It kind of empowers me. Ah, oh, 
All right, so we got this black casing right here. I'm gonna see if I can remove it nice and easy. Uh, one thing I do not like about this setup is that this black housing right here, the network card right here is uh, it's blocking it. So that's gonna be a problem. Let's see if I get you out of there. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I raise this guy up? I think I could raise you up. Wait, can you? Can I raise you guys up? I think so. All right, awesome. Let's put this to the side. I feel like I could raise this guy up, but I just removed this guy out of the thing. I just removed this uh, this entire interface just to remove that. So if you have additional PCI cards or uh, like a network card like I have right here, this right here, this entire thing right here is going to be blocked. And you have to actually raise it to get it uh, removed. Okay, so it looks like uh, I only have one CPU. I don't know what type of CPU I have. I know at the tip right here in the corner, it gives you a nice little Intel Xeon processor. I don't know what type of model. I don't know the clock speed at all. So most likely I will, uh, you know, have to boot it up and get inside BIOS to check out that information. Uh, it kind of sucks that uh, we have two, four uh, fans, but you could get six of them in total. At the back right here, this is where you can have your second CPU. And I'm assuming these uh, dim banks are for this CPU and these guys are for here. Now, looks like we only have 64 gigs. We have one 64 gig uh, uh, chip. Holy crap, it's awesome. 64 gigs is not that bad. Uh, I would like to stick another 64 uh, gig to get 128, that'd be fly. And then uh, max out all the hard drives on the bays, do a RAID system, that's the game plan. I am, um, and then you, probably, you guys are probably saying to yourself, read, read the, little, uh, the little purchase order that Dell gives you with all the specifications. I don't have that, you gotta understand. I just came back from vacation and when I opened my office, the box was there. So I was like, what, what is this? I went to my, my, my boss, I was like, what is this? He was like, didn't you ask for a replacement for the Power Edge 2850, or wait, the 2950, uh, because you know, you wanted to you know, upgrade the, the server and stuff. I was like, heck yeah. So I didn't even bother getting the information. I was just happy that he listened to me and he got me the server. Uh, let me see if I can stick this guy back in here. This itself is a challenge. <laughs> This right here is a challenge putting it back. There we go. And then got to make sure I push this back inside that slot. All right. Okay, okay. All right. So, again, I don't have a lot of information because right now I'm super clueless and I'm just excited that I have it in the at the job. And I'm excited to, like, present it to you guys. Even though I can't do a follow-up because I need to get this machine up and running. So I'm gonna close this guy up. What I'm going to do right now is uh, get a monitor, VGA style connection, keyboard mouse, I'm gonna power it on, and we're gonna take a closer look to see hopefully the clock speed and the CPU type. We already know the memory. We already know what kind of hard drives they are. Intel solid state drives, 480 gigs with a six gigabit per second speed on them. We only got three of them, which is base zero one and two uh we have a total of eight bays we have a lot of ports which is awesome it's pretty cool that we have uh six gigabit ethernet uh ports four of them is an actual nick card and we have two that are integrated to the motherboard cool 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 cool, cool. all right i'm excited so uh let's go get the stuff and hook it up all right so uh hooked it up with a vga i think this is a 20 inch uh, Dell monitor, uh, keyboard, mouse, nothing special, right? Just hooking it up. The VGA, uh, the connection for the VGA, I used the front rather than the back part. Uh, power button is located right here on top of this USB. So we're gonna power this guy on. Now, one of the cool things I love about servers is when you plug in the power, it kind of like, 
You know how you start a car and then you give it gas, it goes. Ah, I wish I recorded that feeling because it's, it sounds so awesome and powerful, right? Ah, I'm nerding out right now. Whatever. So we're gonna power this guy on. Press that power button. And just hear that power. What? Sweet. So initializing, configuring the memory. Look at that Power Edge R540. Buyer's version is uh, 1.5.4. I definitely need to upgrade the BIOS to the latest one. I need to go into the Dell site to see uh, if that's the latest one. If not, upgrade the BIOS before I start installing VMware onto this machine. So right now it's configuring the memory. First time booting a server, it takes a while because it needs to do the BIOS setup, you know? Uh, it needs to check the input, output, to make sure everything is working correctly. If not, you're gonna receive a nasty little error and then you have to try to fix it. So right now it's stuck on configuring the memory. I'm feeling the power, awesome. Uh, all three hard drives are lit up. I do like that little lifeline kind of thing. Like right here is like a lifeline. It's green. Oh, that's scary, imagine it red. Oh, worst color ever when you're dealing with a server red or even like amber orange Woo, Freaks me out So it's initializing the serial ATA devices, which are the hard drives uh, Let's go to f10. Let's press f10 to go inside the life cycle controller. All right, it's Intel. Here we go Bingo. All right, so the CPU is an Intel Xeon gold 5118 CPU with a clock speed of 2.30 gigahertz. Oh yeah, I'm loving that. That's awesome. It's gonna reboot. It's gonna be. It's gonna be really loud when I do the reboot. So we're just gonna let it reboot. Cause I gotta shut it down. There's no operating system on this machine at all. Uh, and you know I gotta wipe it clean. Definitely gotta get more hard drives so I can build a nice little raid and get uh, VMware installed into this machine. All right, so that's it, guys, for my unboxing of a huge surprise of a Dell uh, EMC Dell Power Edge uh, R540. It has a beautiful Intel Xeon Gold 5118, right, with a clock speed of 230 gigahertz. Oh crap! I remember that. Awesome. 64 gigs is not that bad. I would love ha I would love to have seen 128. A lot of hard drives, maybe two terabyte hard drives or more, but hey, I'm not complaining. I'm super happy that my IT manager was able to get this machine for a replacement that I've been wanting for the longest. I, right now, you gotta understand, guys, I have a Power Edge 29, what, 2950, that's what I've been saying throughout the video, right? I keep on forgetting. Yeah, Power Edge 2950 is really old. I mean, it is old. And it's been surviving, and I, I have to give it to that machine. Now that she's beautiful, she's awesome, she's powerful, but she needs an upgrade, right? So uh, again, if you guys are using an R540 in your lab or at your nine to five uh, job, leave comments right below. How do you got it set up? Do you have Microsoft on it? Is it a Linux box? Is it a VMware machine? What kind of RAID system do you have? Are you utilizing all the ports in the back? Hey, leave it at the bottom. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.